What's up everybody, Tiffany Outdoors. Today, we're gonna to be making our own DIY springtail food. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the farmer. Form a U-turn when possible. No, we're not U-turning. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? So while cultivating springtails, I wanted to try my own food mix. So I'm going to give this a go. Now this recipe doesn't have everything in it that someone else had. I cannot remember who it was. Who was it? So today I want to try out my own springtail mix and I have some different beans, barley, flowers, and potatoes. And I tried to buy organic where I could. So. We're gonna mix this up and see what happens. This is just an experiment. So, let's get started. First thing I wanna do is mix in all my ingredients in this bin here, and then we're gonna take it out of here and put it in a blender and then a spice grinder to get it a nice, fine, powdery mix. So, first thing I wanna put in is some of this uh, 15 bean soup mix. I'm going to be putting equal parts of each, each item. I'm just going to use this little red cup here as my measurement. Got some beans. Next up, some organic coconut flour. And I got some long green rice. A lot of people use just plain rice as a springtail food and some people have had success with it and others have not. Some black eyed peas. Barley. Green peas. and mashed potato flakes. There we go. Now I'm just gonna mix this up with my hand to get it all mixed in. And then we're gonna stick this in the blender and then the spice grinder. Wonder what color this is gonna be once it's all mixed. That'll be interesting. All right, let's get the blender. All right, I want to put a couple scoops in the blender with this cup. I don't know how much to put in there. Maybe not too much. And put it on one of these ice things. Let's see, Eric. Oh yeah. Let's see how fine that is. It smells like coconut. Phase one complete. Now for the second part. And that's with the use of a spice grinder. Alright, this is a nice and powdery mix here. I'm gonna break it down a little bit further. A spice grinder. Wow, perfect. Super powdery. There we go. 
So this is fine and powdery. This is from the Spice Grinder. And oh yeah, this is much more coarse. So highly recommend doing that second second grind with the Spice Grinder. Definitely. I've got a small container. This had hummus in it. So I'm going to use this container as my experimental colony for my homemade DIY springtail food. I'm just going to call this Colony X1. Experiment 1. And I'm going to take some out of another colony that I started. I got a Sometimes they get on the lid, so I do like this to get them off of the lid first. And I just fed this colony on this side, so I'm going to get some springtails off of this side and put them in here. I like to do two, two small scoops. I don't have a shaker for this just yet, so I'm just going to sprinkle some across the top with my hand. Just put a little bit because there's not that many springtails in there yet. I'm hoping this colony does well, and away we go. So as this colony goes along, I'm going to be doing some updates on it. And I will keep you guys informed. We'll do, in two weeks, we'll do a check on this colony. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.